Not sure if you've heard, but YouTuber The Odd Ones Out is branching from making animations to making games. Behold, Cafe Chaos, made by Breaking Games. This strategic card-based game will pit you against your opponents in the craziest food fight you've ever taken part in. We'll take a look, but first be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon to stay up to date on all our latest videos. Cafe Chaos is best enjoyed with three to eight players ages nine and up. The object of the game is to accrue the least damage, or splat points, by cleverly playing cards in the correct sequence in a series of rock, paper, scissors-like rounds. Your main cards are divided between actions, events, food, toppings, conditions, and characters. First, select a character, then acquire their special action card, as well as three basic action cards. Next. Grab a target card and a player mat. Shuffle the green event cards and the purple main deck. To start the round from the main deck, deal five cards face up in the middle, two cards to each player face down, and three cards face up in the trash, also known as the discard pile. Take a target card and point it at the opponent of your choice. Lastly, Everyone chooses three actions to take from the ones available and places them face down on the mat. Now the round starts. Everyone flips their first card and gives or deducts damage points accordingly. Grabbing lets you pick up cards from the middle. Ducking allows you to dodge all damage for this set of actions. Throwing is how you deal damage. You can either throw a single food item, food with a condition, food with a topping, or all three together. Bigger combos deal more damage, and three card combos even heal your damage by two points, so get ambitious and creative with your throws. If no one has accrued 10 splat points of damage yet, reselect your actions and start round two. Starting with rounds two and later, you can incorporate event cards after selecting actions, but before the first flip. Event cards mix up the game with extra rules. If you get splat points, use the included tokens to gradually cover the Cafe Chaos letters at the top of your game board. The game ends when a player reaches 10 splat points. Whoever has the least points at the end of the round is the winner. This game is a little complicated. There are extra rules that would make this video twice as long if we went over each and every one. Thankfully, not only is there a helpful rulebook, but each card has a brief description of the function on the front, which you will need when you are learning to play this game. You'll catch on pretty quickly, however, after a few rounds. What's your favorite food? Let us know in the comments. For the pros of Cafe Chaos, the illustrations are whimsical, with the odd ones out's telltale humor and charm. Once you get the hang of it, the game can get really exciting, especially with a lot of players. As for cons, this game definitely has a learning curve. There are so many actions, bonus actions, foods, rules, and events. You'll want to study a little bit first. It's okay to jump in before you're 100% comfortable though, as actually playing will make it all click. I give Cafe Chaos four out of five stars. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.